this video, I'm going to continue talking about texture options through the Hypershade window in Maya. However, we are going to focus on a different type of texture, which is the PSD file. The PSD file means that you can attach a Photoshop document directly to your Maya model, and then you can have a workflow whereby the edits that you make in Photoshop to the PSD will be reflected in your Maya file. So to see here, notice that I have a texture already prepared. For this, you will want to do and make sure you save it once again in the project folder. Again, I'm still working in default. I'm going to save it in source images. However, for this example, all you need is a PSD document. You don't need to worry about exporting to a published file type, such as a PNG or a JPEG. So I'll go ahead and save, and I will let it replace and maximize compatibility. Now I'm going to jump back into Maya here, and what I'm going to do is open the Hypershade window. And you can see from a previous example, I have the original Lambert texture here. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new Lambert texture, and I'm going to call this Photoshop Demo. Similar to working with a straight texture, I'm going to go ahead and come under Color, and once again, I'm going to click on the checker box. However, instead of just choosing File, this time I'm going to choose a PSD file. When I click that, notice in the Node Editor, once again, it makes a very similar layout as far as the node connections. However, notice this time it's called PSD file. However, just like its counterpart, the file, notice that out color attaches to color in the Lambert material. Now, inside of the PSD file text, you want to look under file attributes on the right hand side underneath the material viewer. Under image name, there is a file folder that you will want to click on to navigate and find your demo file. So I'll go ahead and say open. And as you can see here now, it has a lot of different elements that have now come into play here that I could even come back in here and change overall as far as what the transparency is, the ambient color if I want it to be lighter, or even the diffuse of the overall layout. So I'm going to go ahead and X out of the Hypershade window. And once again, I'm going to come to my object, to my poly, and I'm going to go ahead and choose Photoshop Demo. So here you can see that it's now been applied onto our cube. But this is the other part of working with a PSD file. Let's say I come back in and realize that I want to make some edits. So maybe, for instance, I want to add in some extra effects. And maybe I say to myself, I want to work with some brushes. And I decide that I want to do some sort of speckling. And I want it to be a little bit darker, but kind of just add some pattern prints to this. I can once again come up and just do a file save. I don't actually need to export anything here. And then whenever you come back into Maya here, what you can do, and it may take a moment to refresh, but if you go into the Hypershade window, Maya is going to think for a second. And if you can kind of see over here on my material viewer, the updates from the PSD document have been implemented. If I actually close this out and come back to my object, you can now see how those elements that I added in have been added into the overall project here. This is a nice quick way that if you're working in Maya and working with textures that you need as far as making edits on the fly, I'd advise working with a PSD file.
In this video, we're going to talk more about using textures in Maya. More specifically, how you can take a Photoshop document and utilize it in Maya to create materials. For starting out, you can see that I've already created a Photoshop file that has a texture that I'd like to use in Maya. There are a few things to note whenever you're working with Photoshop and how you save these files. While you can save them anywhere on your computer, I strongly encourage folks to go in and make sure that they locate which project they're currently working in in Maya. In this case, by the default, Maya likes to install its projects folder in your documents folder. And then I'm working in the default project, but I encourage folks to use source images as a place of storage for your different elements here. So you can see I've saved a demo Photoshop Maya file. I'll go ahead and say save and yes. I'm gonna go ahead and maximize the compatibility. But then what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna do file, export, and choose to export as. And I'm gonna make sure that this is a PNG. And what this is going to allow me to do is I'm gonna be able to go ahead and make a PNG version for one of the texture types that I wanna work with. So once again here, I'll navigate into Maya under projects and defaults and find that source images. I'm gonna leave the file name the same and choose save. Now I'm gonna jump into Maya here and we'll go ahead and just make a quick poly. And then I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to the hypershade window. For this demonstration, I'm gonna go ahead and just use a Lambert material. Now, when you first start out with materials, you can just use the colors over under the common material properties. However, if I wanna tie an image into my material, I'm gonna to come to the side here where you see the little checker box. And I'm gonna click, and then I have a couple of options that appear. Probably the two biggest that you might wanna start out with as far as exploring and working with Maya is file and PSD file. File is a 2D texture file, which also includes Photoshop documents and GIMP files, whereby it'll apply it as a material to your object, but you can't really make any edits. So if we start out with this for our first element, what you should see is in the node window, it has now added in additional nodes as far as handling for a file that ties in specifically into the Lambert color. So now if I try to go back into my Lambert, Notice under the common material properties, my color option is grayed out. I can no longer work with the color. So I'm gonna go ahead in my attributes here, click on file one. And the big thing that you wanna find for starting out and just getting an image into your Maya project is under image name and all the way at the end, you will have a little folder that you can click on to navigate. By default, again, Maya is going to wanna to come in and go to that source images folder of the project which is why I encourage folks to store their elements in here. So here you can see my demo Photoshop Maya file. If I say open, you can now see a preview of the file and you can see it appearing on the material viewer. I'm now ready to go ahead and go in. I can select my object, right click and assign existing material. And while I didn't give it a name because I only had two Lamberts, I know it's the second Lambert. A note here for folks, if you have just tried to apply and you're not seeing your texture, remember to come up at the top of the scene menu bar and locate the checkered circle and make sure that that is highlighted so that your texture will appear. Sometimes you may wanna turn this off or on depending on how far in you are in your modeling. So now you can see though, I have now applied a texture to a Maya object. And again, I used just the image option whenever I went in and was working within the hypershade window.